Welcome everybody back to Brutally Honest Reviews, only on the Brutally Honest Network. Here today, we're reviewing Aquaman with Rob, Sam, and our new guest, Phil. Woo! Phil, what do you do? Uh, I bartend, and I oh, do yeah. acting, and I rollerblade, and do all those things. Awesome. You yeah. rollerblade? That's cool. I forgot to, I know I threw you on the spot, but I forgot <laughs> yeah. to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> I always ask that whenever I have a new guest, because like me, Rob, Sam, and, and Justin, they're usually our regulars, so mm. I, I forget to ask and let everybody know. But yeah, cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, So we're reviewing Aquaman today, part of the DC universe. I got mm. that right, mm -hmm. right? Crushed it. You usually get it wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's my first <laughs> so gold good. star of the day. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Uh, <laughs> so Aquaman, obviously, is about Aquaman. In the DC Universe. Um, played by Jason Momoa when he's older, obviously. And uh, rounding out the cast, like we said, well, like we said <laughs> off camera, mm -hmm. Amber Heard, Willem Dafoe, Patrick Wilson, Nicole Kidman, and, and uh, Dolph and Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Um, those are our main oh. players. We had a couple. We had, actually, does anybody know, because I didn't look this up, the actor who plays Manta Ray? Uh, his name is like Yaya Yassim something. I don't know what he's in though, but so not. He, I think he was like a theater actor before yeah. this. Really? So yeah. He's not in anything else. I didn't recognize not that I can recall. Hmm. I thought he was good. I actually like. Well, I thought his villain was good. I liked his villain, and is then they killed him. Mm. No, he's like, no. Do you, do you stay for the end credit scene? No, I didn't nope. know there was one. Yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, they he's do that shit now. Lie. Yeah, he's alive. Nope, I left. I'm so mad. Right he's alive. I'm gonna go torrent that shit or whatever I need to do later. I can tell Thanks. my sister that now. She was like, "What happened to him?" Like, I don't know. He did. I legit, like Taylor, my girlfriend, was literally like in the theater. Was like, "There's gonna be an end credit sequence," and I was like, "I don't think DC does that." And then we sat and like, it didn't seem like anything was going down, and it seemed like the film ended on a pretty like definitive ending note. So like, I didn't expect it, but. Good to know. Um, so, this movie, what do you think, Rob, first thoughts? I mean, as far as DC movies go, it's probably like the top three. Yeah. Better than Justice League, better than Suicide Squad. Not as good as Wonder Woman, and I like Man of Steel better. This is alright. Yeah. yeah. Just alright. It looked great. Yeah, it did. Like look, all it looked the amazing. underwater world looked amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll talk about that for sure. For CGI sure. is one thing this movie got done pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yep. film took so long to make though, so it better have. They've been really? working on this shit for a long ass time. All the post production stuff, it's been shot for a while. Yeah, it's been shot with for all a the, really long time. With all the work oh. for CGI mm -hmm. and everything, yeah, crazy amounts were done in post production. Yeah. Well, yeah, everything. And yeah. Almost everything. Really. Yeah, I would say this movie is just all right. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I thought it was a fantastic film. Mm -hmm. I would probably... So the way I see a DC film so far is that there's like, there's always three things. It's either storytelling, visuals, and then like the final act. And like Wonder Woman, you know, great storytelling, great visuals, shitty final act. This film, I thought it was amazing visuals, a good final act, a bit weak on the storytelling. So it's kind of like I see it as a good stepping point forward. You know, with films like Shazam and Flash and Cyborg all coming. Sorry, I'm so sorry. But I thought it was fantastic. You know, it was a, definitely a new directorial um, outlook to it. James Wan is a fantastic director. I always watch mm -hmm. Fast and Furious. The last one was great. I mean, I don't watch that for the story. I watch it for the action. But this one really kind of coalesced and came together. I liked the more Jason Momoa. He had it. Amber Heard, in my opinion, stole the whole movie because. Very rarely do you get like a good, solid female lead that doesn't seem like she's just there to be the accessory to the guy. Like she was leading him the whole time and not the other way around. Um, the soundtrack, the score, the mixing, unreal. I thought that was sick. I thought it was the only song I didn't like was the obvious Pitbull song. Oh god, <laughs> I forgot he was. I was should like, have never touched Africa dear god. ever. But like, it's Mr. Worldwide. You got <laughs> chills when he was like stepping out of like the king's tomb with the mm -hmm. spear in his hand and he was in full costume and you were like, oh shit. 
And then even being in the theater, like feeling the bass, you're like, yo, I'm in this movie right now. Like, yeah, Aquaman just got me wet. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I thought the same. I, I thought that this movie did a fantastic job of balancing most of most everything. Like I, I actually thought like the story, while like kind of like bouncing around a little bit, I felt like I felt like we kind of like miss out on a lot of things. I feel like maybe the movie maybe could have been like twenty minutes long. Maybe I mean, I certainly it was already a long movie. It was like two hours. Yeah. Two hours and twenty minutes. Yeah, already. It's pretty long. Yeah. I I would go. I would argue the fact that they could have pushed it twenty minutes longer. Yeah. I was enjoying this movie so much. Like you said, the visuals in this like were beautiful. The CGI was incredible. Um, the acting was uh, so. They, so they, all right. So let's get the acting. So like Jason Momoa, I think he's trash. <laughs> but they, he's very pretty. But I, I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah. They 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 pull. They what they did is that they did pull what they could out of him. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think that he could. He holds a candle to anyone else in the cast. Like Willem Dafoe, Patrick Wilson, um, Dolph Amber Lundgren. Heard, Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren was good in this. Yeah. Very good. Really? I thought he was kind of underused. He only had like two lines, and I'm like, Dolph Lundgren. Something. He's like, always underused. Yeah. I'm like, do more. But everyone like recognizes him. Right? Yeah. Like, they go like, yeah, there he is. Yeah, I thought he was underused but strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like strong in his role. But uh, Jason Momoa, I, I just don't think he can really act, and I think he's more of the face and the body than he is an actor. But you know, I mean, he served the purpose. He he was a great Aquaman. I think that I felt feelings for his character. I they they fooled me, you know. Mm-hmm. At, at least I, I don't really give Jason Momoa credit yet. He's got to prove himself in another way because this this was not a movie where you can prove your acting prowess. In his role, he's on a TV show on Netflix that's all right called The Frontier. Frontier yeah. That one's actually that. pretty good. He's pretty good yeah. on that. He's like forty he's, something. I don't think he's that. Old. Yeah, he is. He's in his forties. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. I, think he's, I, don't think I so. think he's in his late thirties, early mid thirties. Yeah. I know. I think he's got to be because he's 30s. married to Lisa Bonet, who is she's a fine like, ass lady. I think she's like fifty. In this she is. Probably. Yeah. She, he's yeah, closer to um, her daughter's age. I thought yeah. they were both like pretty old. Pretty old. Pretty elderly, I was gonna say. No. <laughs> He's gotta be in his 30s. No, yeah. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure he 30s. was in his 20s when he was in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, either way. Um, so, I, I, what, I, what I do wanna mention about this movie is the fact that I did, this is a CGI heavy movie, but there was a lot to take in in terms of quality cinematography. Mm-hmm. The fight scenes particularly were very cool. Yeah. Well done. The cinematography, they had a lot of things where like they would move the camera. Like they they would they would a camera movement with the action. Mm-hmm. So like it brought you more into it, but like you don't see it a lot in movies because a lot of mo- action movies take the easy way out. But like they had a lot of interesting shots to keep the action interesting. Um, and specifically what I liked is the character art and design was on point. Yeah. Um, specifically the aquatic, like not the frogmen, they were kind of cool too. The fish people? Fish? No, 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 no. Fro- when I say frogmen, I mean like the Navy SEAL pilot. Yeah, that's what they were called. Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they refer to them yeah. as frogmen. Because yeah. that's how they would refer to, to, to some aquatic fighters mm-hmm. as frogmen. Um, they were done really well, but like also the Atlantean fighters mm-hmm. who would come out with their aquatic weapons, all those scenes were incredible. Like the weaponry, the art that they like, the art on their costumes, yeah. Yeah. and then straight down to like in the fights, the uh, the authenticity they have with the fights. But when their helmets got crushed, and you see the guy drowning because oh, the, the water fell in. Yeah. That's good. And the That's guy cool. putting his face in the toilet was funny. Mm-hmm. Um, Fun fact that he played uh, Zach in Power Rangers. That was Louis Lim. Which which one? The guy who put his head in the toilet. Oh really? Yeah. I, I was like, why they focus so yeah. much on this guy? That makes sense. The new one. New yeah, Power yeah, the new Power Rangers. Which it's interesting because like that, I was thinking about Power Rangers when I was watching this <laughs> because I was like, it's interesting to see a movie like Aquaman take this universe and completely make it and do well, mm-hmm. and then you see Power Rangers, which is clearly just setting itself up for a franchise, which their first movie was completely a premise. Yep. It was very interesting. Um, but this movie, like, this movie, like, instead of creating the, like, the foundation for a franchise, like Power Rangers tried to do and 
might fail because they did so. Yeah. Um, they went for like, let's create this entire story based on Aquaman's complete um, origin story. Like how he transitioned from you know, every other guy, every day, and every day half breed guy to becoming Aquaman. And I did it in a complete way where when I left the theater, I felt like the movie was complete as a whole. And I honestly felt like there might not be a sequel. I didn't see the end credit scene, so you know, I was wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't be upset if it wasn't wrong. With DC, you never know. Yeah. Because they yeah. might be relaunching the whole thing. They might not be. Mm-hmm. Ben Affleck might not be yeah be Batman, he might be. <laughs> Henry Cavill's not Superman, he is. The Flash movie's never getting made. Yeah. yeah. They've changed directors and writers on their Flash movie like six times. Well, this is the first this... DC movie that I'm like, I would go see a sequel to this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I love James Wan. He's one of my favorite directors. Mm-hmm. I think he brought a lot more out of this cast and the story that not many other directors would have. Like, right. the action sequences were probably a lot on him. Yeah. yeah. And he usually does have, like, a strong female lead in his movies. Like, if you look at the Conjuring movies... Oh, God, yes. <laughs> she's yeah. fantastic, though. Yeah. And she kind of she kind of steals the show from Patrick Wilson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, at least. Or Patrick Wilson. <clears throat> Speaking of which, he was fantastic in this film. I thought he was a... Yeah, he was. Convincing villain as yeah. much as I was yeah. a master. Like, yeah, dude, like, he really he's, an, he's another underused actor. Yeah. Well, this is the first time I saw him, and it was like, this guy could be a lead. Mm-hmm. Because even Isn't in The Conjuring, in the I don't feel cemetery? like he's strong. No, no. it's... Is that not him? That looks just like him. the guy like from him. Planet the of the fuck? Apes. Just look at this guy again. Okay. Because for a second, I was like, why? Why are you in Pet Cemetery? Ignore <laughs> me. They have similar hairline. Ignore. <laughs> They're aging the same. But this is the guy from the second Planet of the Apes movie, the newer one. Okay. Don't know his name. And he played John Connor in Terminator Genisys. Genisys. Or oh, however it sits. Genisys. I have Genesis. 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 Oh, yeah. You look at it as a Genisys. Genisys. Oh, it's, it's stupid. stupid. Wrong intention. It, it's stupid. It's really. Yeah. All right. Like let's make it edgy. But I don't know why. That's oh, him. Man. He's stupid. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> So, Sam, your, your first thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, I already have a favorite superhero. So I already went in being like, whatever. And this was <laughs> kind of a long time. It, I don't know, because I knew this was being made before because I actually took an effects class a little over a year ago, and we actually learned how they made all of Jason Momoa's tattoos for this movie. So it was like really interesting to like finally see them. And be like, wow, well, I know exactly how they did that. How so like, do they do it for the movies? To make temporary tattoos? Yeah. Well, if you need a tatted up character, I got you, bro. No, I mean like tell tell the viewers. Oh well, you have there's like <laughs> you buy like the slide paper like a temporary tattoo is on, and then you physically have to paint out what it is with like usually you can use like Copic markers so and like, sketching and stuff, mm. and that'll do it. But you need to take into consideration like an arm and stuff. You can't just do it on like a square piece of paper. Like it has to be like a column shape and you have to like do all the measuring. This class was like a straight up hour of just from talking yeah. about how to make Jason Momoa's tattoos because he is a muscly meaty man. Yeah. So you need to take all of that into consideration and it has to line up the same every single time because yeah. obviously he's, he spends a lot of time without like a shirt on. And every day they have to do that. Yep. Like, they, they take it off every day. Well, it usually uh, it'll last a couple of days. You could probably get about, like, two to three days as long as he's not showering uh, with temporary tattoos on and you can just touch it up with alcohol paints. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, there's still a lot made for this film because I think the triangle ones he has, he genuinely, yeah. like, he actually has those. Mm. But they made, like, he had so many tattoos in this that were not his. They were just temporary ones. Well, well yeah, he's for the film. And his, even his dad has had some later in the film when he's older. Yeah. 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 I wish they kind of, I wish they described what they were. What they were. Because yeah, because they did, like, pr- not purposefully, but like, his they dad's did Samoan, I know. Add that. a lot. Yeah. And I feel like they, they, uh, touched on that with like his little like battle cry things that he would do but i feel like if you didn't know that beforehand 
Yeah, then you wouldn't You would have been like, the fuck is he doing? I half wish they touched on it with his father, like a fatherly bond thing. Yeah. yeah Only because that. his father kind of like, he was obviously super relevant in the beginning. Yeah. He's like, gone the yeah. entire... Yeah. And he had a good relationship with his dad. It wasn't like it was like a whatever dad, but... He feels guilt for what happens to his mom. So he's like, she died because you had me. Uh, but like, clearly there's love in that relationship. I would have liked to see more yeah. of it. Instead of like them bonding at the bar where these big ass biker dudes are like, can we get a picture? <laughs> I <was> like, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I wasn't expecting but, that scene to happen go the way it was. Because already I was like, oh wow, another action scene? And then it was like, oh no, never mind. It's a comedic effect. And yeah, there was a lot I, of I genuinely laughed. I was like, oh, stuff. this is great. Yeah, I did too. Because I thought like, all right, they're gonna have Jason Momoa kick all these dudes' asses. <laughs> like, duh. And they were and like, they can we didn't. get a photo? That was kind of cool. Pulls yeah. out a pink phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. That's how people really are, though. Like, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. it's not like it. It's like people think that's like hyper realism, but like that's how people really mm-hmm. are. Like there are people like that everywhere. It's like. It, just because like you're mean looking doesn't mean you're you're a mean person. No. That's like such a stupid stereotype that movies have created like since the 60s. And it's like it, there are a lot of people out there that like you see all these like memes and Facebook posts like there are like straight up biker dudes who look like they killed 10 people yeah. who like would it just makes their day to like make like a paper mache not paper mache like a paper airplane for your daughter and or they something. love mm-hmm. kittens and yep. shit yeah it's like they're really Good nice stuff. people yeah it's like it's the same shit i deal with like for having tattoos and piercings oh god but really like i just had an identity crisis and i like to have <laughs> shit. i like art and i like horror movies so i just started doing this shit yeah but people i don't know people judge too quick they don't understand it's crazy um how did you like the build up in this movie? Like like the initial origin story, like when he was younger and his his mother and father, their relationship, and then they come after the mother, they take her back and they sacrifice her to the trench people. What do you think about that origin story? Anyone? Um, the only thing that got me real lit was when they were like, Boston, New England Aquarium. And I was oh like, tight! God. I was, I was a little like, yo, I'm. we're watching this film right here. Like, That's I absolute gotta, bullshit. <laughs> I got it, because I'm like, where the hell is he from? Because it's not Maine. It's not Maine? Maine? Yeah. Right? Wait, That's, they came yeah. from Maine to the fucking aquarium? Have Ain't you, no way in hell. Have you ever been to Maine? Yeah, I used to live there. It sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. Maine it's, sucks. It's a big state of nothing you got but something trees. To There's do, trees and beavers. There's nothing to do there. And meese. No, meese. but like if you go along the coastline, it's fucking beautiful. Oh, it is. Because mm-hmm. I used to work for Yelp and I used to drive all along the coastline, all up in Maine and New York, and like it's beautiful. The mountains are really pretty, is. trees are pretty, water's pretty, but like there's nothing that like hood rats like us like to do. I try to go to like the club once while. <laughs> I was there uber doesn't fucking exist so like they will not come to get you to like take you to a 45 minute away club and you gotta call like, your dolphin like, yeah. exactly. i should have i should have taken a paddle boat there was like kayaks and shit You're everywhere probably drunk enough to call aquaman or, or dolphin. <laughs> anyway. we were on the water so i could have just started screaming like somebody take aquaman. me aquaman <laughs> Come save me. Let me touch your nips. Yeah. <laughs> I would have. He was, they definitely, for Jason Momoa's sake, they definitely used him for what he looked like, which I wasn't mad at, personally. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I feel like his whole, the, the, like, younger characters of him were more, like, cool to look at, or, like, acting-wise than he was. I was kind of like, okay, cool, you're just some, like, bumbling idiot who, like, doesn't yeah. want to do this. But, like, you're acting more of like a teenager who's being like, I can't do this. Yeah. I'm just a half breed when you are a, a big meaty man who Speak- shouldn't be acting like that. Speaking of, my only issue with this movie would probably be that they painted Jason Momoa's character so stupid and careless that yeah. I didn't understand why Amber Heard even gave him the time of day. Because she did not want to be with motherfucking King Orm at all. He was a fucking twat. Yeah. I that hated haircut? him. Yeah. I was. Great, great. I would have been like, yes, 
I'm gonna go for your brother too to make you mad. Part of me is like, did you did she really fall in love with you because she likes you, or was she just trying to find a way out? Because that's exactly what your mom did. <laughs> Not saying that your that's mom true. and dad aren't in love, but I'm like, okay, so you're gonna fall in love the same way that your mom did? Shut the fuck up. But like, she was hot as well to look at. Yep. That is true, though. The mother did escape what was basically a forced, arranged marriage yep. where she really saw nobody else. Like, she couldn't hide from anybody. Yep. Like, so the first person who showed her any kind of compassion was Jason Momoa, Aquaman's father. Um, so you have to do... You, you, you wonder if it was, like, a little bit of, like, a circumstance thing. But like obviously it developed into love like obviously right. it became a story but like Absolutely. at the beginning like it might have been like more of a circumstance thing yeah yep you know someone showing her interest in the way that he was showing her new things like tea yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> The more we're talking about it, the more I liked it. Because I left being like, eh. I saw it in 3D, so it looked cool. But like I said, I have a It was favorite. a fun movie. Yeah. Mm. Like, I'm not upset that I saw it. But like, I'm not going to go watch it again. Like, I watch Iron Man almost every single fucking day. But like, this is some shit. That's my favorite superhero, by the way. Yeah. I have Iron, Iron Man comic books all over my fucking walls. I have figures all over my room. I made Stanley sign one. I was like, hey, bud, sign yeah. this for me. Like, I... Can't believe he's dead. Yeah, all right. Rest in peace. Yeah. What? So <laughs> yeah, when I met him, he was, <laughs> like, very, very, um... I was nervous about him walking on his own. He's 90s, right? Yeah, he was yeah. in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Very good Ron Lund. Yeah. 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 That's, that that's, is, right. that's someone to, to model your whole whole life. I, I think that might be one of the reasons why I didn't like this movie quite as much, though, because... Stanley wasn't in it. <laughs> not just that, but I mean... Exactly. <laughs> with Marvel, you get a payoff with every single movie. Yeah. Yeah. And now with DC, you don't know where that's going. Right. Yep. So right. this movie could have been a one-off. There could be a sequel. It could connect to other movies. It mm-hmm. could not. Maybe that's another reason why I didn't like it quite as much as I was hoping to like it. I still liked mm-hmm. it. Yeah. But I mean... With Marvel having 22 movies all connected in at least some form or another. Right. Yeah. This one. People they tr- are vested in Marvel. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Much, much more of a connection to it. I wish DC took care of its villains more because I prefer DC villains. But like I Suicide yeah. Squad was the biggest disappointment of shit. my entire life still. I have never been more upset with a film than su- well that was like a- with, Suicide uh, Squad was so hyped up for such the like yeah. such a piece of shit that it was. Oh, yeah. So that's why I go into DC films and I'm just like, all right, like, wow ah. me. But Aquaman it was it was all right. I saw it in 3D. It was super I think seeing it in 3D is probably the way you should go if you haven't seen it yet because it just, yeah. it just, there was so much depth yeah. in like the undersea parts that I feel like were made more so if you see it, go in see it yet in 3D. It was, there was some cool shit. I did think how they like swam away aggressively was a little bit, like I giggled at that. I was like, <laughs> you need to be menacing, but you were just like, <sighs> <laughs> like swam away. So I was like, <laughs> but like it's in that universe. They're terrifying people and they hate the land because we pollute the oceans, which I thought was a very woke thing to bring into there. Because we are, we are destroying the oceans. Which was a good enough, like, alright, that's a good plot point for at least, like, the main villain to have a good yeah. reason for doing it. But then when it came to, like, the scenes of, like, the character, um, Stephen Shin on, like, the news, he was like, yeah. well, they're throwing back our trash and our warships, this is clearly Atlantis. And then they're like, mm-hmm. you believe in Atlantis? And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, you've had two alien invasions in your universe right now. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure why you you've got the crown so far. Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> like, laugh. Why, that's unbelievable. That was mm-hmm. a little silly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> An invincible I- flying man is, re- that's perfectly plausible, but see people. That's getting angry because we're polluting the ocean is absurd. They came close to implausibility, but if you notice, they actually, they talked, they showed the trash for a mere 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And it was a little bit prevalent. Like we did see some trash when they went into the uh, the secret, like inside Atlantis, when they went into that ship that it was all oxygen inside. Yeah. And initially, the air the Am- Amber Heard and Willem Dafoe exit to basically escape, you know, um, coalition mm-hmm. with with uh, Jason Momoa. 
We saw a little bit of trash there. But then they kind of left it go. They let it go. Like, yeah. they didn't, like if they made that more of a theme in the movie, it would have taken away too much from the movie. Yep. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this way you leave the movie and like you, you think about it, but it's you're not thinking about it in a negative way. Like, like it's not would. like they were forcing like a PSA to like clean the ocean, but it's like enough <laughs> right. that they brought it into this fantasy universe okay. that like, It'd hey, be bitch. nice if you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice. Don't throw your fucking trash on the beach. I loved the Seven Kingdoms concept. The seven, the seven uh, factions. Yeah. yeah. The different oceans. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, I thought about his face. Oh, was a dick the, uh, for going in and be like, the, we um, need to make peace, and then kill him. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> all of the uh, the um, the name cards was like somewhere in the Atlantic, somewhere yeah. in the Indian, oh, yeah. somewhere in the Pacific. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's authentic. I mean, it's yeah. like un- uncharted water, so it's like you know, could you actually tell us where Atlantis is? No, you couldn't because no. nobody knows where it is. There are theories. There are theories. Yeah. There are theories. I would love yeah, yeah, the kingdoms were pretty I've cool. I've been watching them quite a bit on YouTube. Have you? <laughs> nice. The collapse of Atlantis and the creation of the creatures from the brine and the creatures from the the um, the trench, the trench, and those were cool. The fish. I mean, it, 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 that part doesn't make sense evolutionary wise. Like, I wish we had a little bit of an in, insight as to how the trench. Like some I evolved and then some devolved and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Right, but like how? Because it yeah. wasn't yeah. that long. Yeah. It's just like we drowned, but some of us didn't. Just a couple, <laughs> just a couple, couple thousand years. years. It's like yeah. you're people. Wouldn't you float and swim and then either die or? Well, they would have died instantly. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't be stuck underwater so, like, long a, enough time. To I don't be get. Did a human impregnate a fish? Because I don't know how some humans became Maybe. aquatic after that. We don't know. There needs to What's be that some stupid cross fish movie with shit. That. Just the sound of water, people water. Yeah, yeah. Th- watch that. Shape <laughs> Guillermo del-, del Toro. Yeah, this Shape fish fucking in it. Yeah. Shape of Water was good. He was disturbing. cool looking. Yeah. You yeah. Didn't like it? It's too weird. It was okay. I like the way it looked. He was Abe the Sapien from Hellboy. That's all he was. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna lie, I looked at him, both of them, for reference. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That's all. I, who, that's basically what he was. That's also Abe Del Toro, Sapien. though. Yeah. The yeah. guy who played him is yeah. Him. Well, yes, same guy the guy, guy who yeah. plays him, yeah. yes, but they also were very similar. I mean, he's a very very he also played this guy in. You didn't know that. Labyrinth. He's yeah, Doug, no, mm-hmm. I knew that. Yeah, Doug he's, Jones. Du- yeah, yeah, he's in hell he's of a shit. Super, super mm-hmm. known character. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. He works on like literally every Guillermo del Toro fucking film. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. every, every everything in Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. Everything. I love the that fawn. guy. I've seen him in interviews, and I think he's, he's just really a cool guy. I would love to throw this some is what paint on him. Deal del Toro made instead of Hellboy three. An Abe Sapien prequel. I would watch that. Well. No, it's not a. Well, it's it's more so it's more so trying to play off a creature from the Black Lagoon. I know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but even the or, even the origin Black story Black is pretty similar to Ape Sapien. It's similar. Came from water. It's really cool. I don't know. I thought it was, I can't I can't hate Del Toro. I, I literally just found out that did you did you know did any of you know that Del Toro either writes or co-writes every story he directs as a novel before he makes it into a screenplay and directs. No. Really? Mm-hmm. Did not know yep. I just bought the entire The Strain series, which is co-written really? by Del Toro and another guy. And that I that show started off strong. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it yet. But it's been on my list. I just like him because he knows his shit with effect stuff, so he gets it. Well, he gets another brownie point from me for doing for being that for mm-hmm. writing the story he before. Cares. Cause like I had thought like as a creative like and as a broke creative I'm kind of thinking like I don't have the fucking money and luxury to do that but like I would love to write a novel first mm-hmm. and then adapt it, put it out on the big screen yourself. Yeah. Right, because it's because right. it's mine. And then know? have it yeah. be done so, yourself, yeah. So nobody else can. There's too many it. people who destroy oh, books. Oh my gosh! And yeah. it's just so Crazy. disappointing. Crazy Very. Jackson, my childhood ruined the big screen. Per- really? Yeah. yeah. I was so sad when I saw that movie. I was like, I took Latin for seven years for this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> seven years? Yeah. Damn. Wow. My sister is a huge fan of Percy Jackson, so yeah. Hmm. She agrees. <laughs> yeah. What else can we pull apart? Oh, so, so casting. So, <laughs> so casting. Um, Patrick Wilson, everybody thought was strong. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I loved Willem Dafoe in this. 
Yes. Not being the villain. He's not often not the villain because he's ugly. <laughs> oh, I loved him so much in this. He's so good. True. I loved him. He's endearing. He's a very charming guy. The entire time, though, because we're in the ocean and because it's Willem Dafoe, I kept making references to Life Aquatic. <laughs> so, like, at one point, Willem Dafoe goes, like, he doesn't even something. And I went to Taylor. He doesn't even know how to hold a boom. <laughs> <laughs> and she was dying. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I loved him. Um, Dolph Lundgren, as we mentioned, was good. Um, Nicole Kidman was great as she was the mother. Tight. Um, the guy who played the father I thought was great too. Which mm-hmm. I don't know, he's not, I don't think he's a name actor, like a main name. Actor. I've seen him in some other yeah, things. He's pretty people. good. Yeah, I feel like I've seen him in something else. He's just very usually, believable as a dad. That's usually a local mm-hmm. Samoan movies. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. he's in this movie called um, They Were Warriors once. It's about domestic violence, actually. Ooh. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I can think of that he was the main guy in. Yeah. But it's usually local New Zealand movies that he's in. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right. I didn't know that. Cool. What else is there to talk about with this movie? Uh, I <laughs> liked... How pretty Jason I liked Mullins. Black Mesa as a villain. I loved him. Overall, he was fantastic. I didn't. And it was... No. And I, and I kind of have a feeling why. Because so, objectively, you know, I was like, all right. He was hired by Prince Orm. He comes back. He gets a suit. and goes to Aquaman like Kind of wants a second piece hand of him. Yep. But subjectively, this dude is the saltiest motherfucker in the <laughs> goddamn Yeah, he, like, I think I, I'm, I'm like so it. confused. I'm like, all right, so you and your dad are pirates. You hijack a ship, you kill all these innocent people, and then you try to kill Aquaman. Yep. Aquaman gives you a chance to leave and never come back, yep. but you still try to kill him and you kill your dad. Bubble and boy. you think you're mad at Aquaman? Like, that's exactly why. Really I'm stretching it here. Like, it. Let it go because your dad killed himself. They always do that though in movies. Like, it's just, just a pirate life. He was. Movies, <laughs> they disregard logic and they go straight for like, like the, what's written and stuff. He was the the Shrike of this movie. I feel like I was like, wow, this is just the aquatic version of the Mortal Mortal Engines. Engines. Like, just, <laughs> oh. like this was just a side quest that like, oh wow, the bad guy hired you to come take out the same person that y'all are after. Great. But and I then, felt I felt like they. Like, first, in Mortal Engines, they played out the Shrike, and it was almost like the Shrike was the main point of Yeah. Movie. Well, I, I, I honestly, understand. well, this started with him, so I was like, oh, okay, he's going to probably be someone that he fights, and then a whole hour and a half goes by before you ever see him again. But when he does emerge, he's badass. Um, I thought I was watching Ant-Man for a second. No. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is your helmet? I thought it was badass. Well, it was no. it was definitely, like, comic accurate. For the costumes, yeah. they were all 100% accurate to the comics, and it yeah. still looked good. On Even screen. Aquaman. Yeah. Aquaman. <laughs> I thought, he, I thought it looked so shit. funny in that. I'm so sorry. I thought he looked. I like. I'm, I, he should have stayed shirtless that whole time. But the second <laughs> he was in like the iconic Aquaman outfit, I was yeah. like, ha, ha, like I. It's Gold very bright. This color like that. Very bright. Very, very bright. bright. Very bright. Yes. <laughs> Ain't nobody can take away bit. Mermaid Man's powers. Yeah. Like, he tried, <laughs> and it, he just didn't look right in that costume. And I, at first, I was like, okay, yeah, he'd be cool, Aquaman. But then I saw him in the full Aquaman getup, and I was like, I don't think this was right. The yeah. costume for Justice League Aquaman was a lot cooler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like grays and silvers. But like when he got Rogers. the trident, and then he like appeared with the outfit i was like oh no like he did not he didn't look right yeah he wasn't as badass anymore. he didn't no he looked like a child How are you gonna Halloween look badass costume? dressed as peter pan yeah <laughs> green well, it's tights they, it's because they painted this character as like the outcast out the outcast hero the entire time it's so, like when he got into the uniform you didn't want to see him tone back his outcast mentality yeah. And that unfortunately went with the costume. Oh, I feel the like. Just didn't look yeah, they should just tone the colors down just a little bit. Just a the hair. Just yeah, a hair. the gold. It's a little was bright. Very... The gold was very in your face. I was like, Whoa. yeah. That was very I'm green. Just dump like a box of craft mac and cheese all your Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. It kind of did look at that. Yes. Or he's like some kind of big bird. <laughs> it was very quick when they showed him because I feel like they also knew they were like this it is looked better. the moment where you see him but it was very quick and was it like, looked better when he was fighting with it yeah when he was fighting with it yeah. when it's just a static it's image and it's just there, way he looks so funny in that so underwater funny. world was just too bright and sunny yeah maybe that's what did it 
Because when he was up on the surface fighting his brother again, it, I thought it looked fine. It didn't stick yeah, out to me. Yeah, that was cool. So maybe it's just all a lighting issue. Let's go back to Manta Ray for one second. Okay. So, two things before I throw up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just burped and I it felt wasn't like safe. I just emerged from the ocean. Please tell me um, I need to run. So anyway, Manta I'm not going to throw up. Okay. Um, Manta Ray, uh, I... Black Manta. Black Manta, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, so Black Manta, the character, the only problem I had with this character is the character building of him. Absolutely. We and never, that's my issue. We never learned he was an engineer. No. So like immediately once he gets this weaponry, which is... reverse engineering it and building up it all. I was like, all right, yeah. this is a little weird. Yeah, in and my head I was like, wow, yeah. he's an amateur yeah. trying like, to make this cooler than it is. Like but the like, music. Yeah. Like 80s montage. And like, they yeah, right? Yeah. It might have well been like Enter, Enter well. the Tiger or something. <laughs> like, it was like, it was just so silly. Like, we never, like, we just like learned. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, add, if you add 20 minutes to this movie, throw five minutes in decipher, showing this guy as an engineer before the sub attack. Yeah. Like, engineering something. I might have liked attack. him a little bit yep. more. He just came off yeah. as this Brad. It was like, you killed my dad. And I'm like, you killed. A shit ton of people just before that happened. So, like, you need to shut the hell up. And then, like, the whole... When he's doing modifications to the suit, he didn't really necessarily look like he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Because even though he made the modifications, obviously, the whole laser thing, like, he was like, ooh because it made the, the mask like explode that he was working on. But if we I was like, was oh, engineer. yeah, but it just, I feel like his, if he wasn't set up, so I was like, oh, he's just an amateur tinkering the shit. He probably shouldn't be tinkering, because I had no idea he was an engineer. Yeah. At all. Yeah. At all. So I was like, right, you're just being a whiny brat. I was like, I must destroy. And yeah. And yeah, the fight something. scene happens, and then you're like kicked into oblivion, and I thought you were dead, and I guess you're not. 20 minutes there in oh. that character, I would have liked him way more. Yep. So much better. I would have liked him. Yeah, more. there was really some liked. build up that could have happened, like the very beginning, or at the very least when we're in the sub. But it's like, all right, and then you find out he was hired by Arnold. Like, well, how the hell did he even meet this guy in the yeah. first place? Yeah, exactly. Like, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a common storyline in the comic book. I'm like, but he wasn't even Black Manta then. He was just some pirate, like just a yeah. random dude. That's, that's a good point. They and, never noticed. They never. Mention mention that, and they barely did. Like even when they were like, "Oh, like yeah, who was that guy? He was led. Like, he was not a Lantian, but he had the armor. Like, oh, yeah. he's probably hired by Orm." I'm like, "And you don't find that suspicious? And no one's gonna right. bring that up?" Right. <laughs> Apparently, his grandfather no was like a big deal, I guess, because his dad gave him that nice. blade Thingy. that mm-hmm. had like the ray on it, and it's like, "Oh, Manta Ray, hi guys." Um, <laughs> but like they talked about it, like we're supposed to know who his grandfather was. Yeah. And then they didn't see him for an hour and a half in the film. So I'm just, I, yeah, I definitely feel like if more of him was explained, I wouldn't have felt like he was just some brat being like, you killed my dad. So do, and, we, think, do we think this is like the rare, I think this is the rare occasion where two hours and 20 minutes wasn't isn't, long enough. isn't enough. enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. To... Yeah. If you want to keep it that, take the story from some other place and then story building. Well, because it was a very enjoyable movie. Two hours and 20 minutes. There's just a lot visually that that I feel like took up a lot of space because it was an underwater kind of world and you needed to kind of see the depths that they were going to. You need to understand the kind of space that they were in. Yeah. That's probably what took up a majority of the time. And yeah, I feel, I don't know. I really feel like you couldn't take it from anywhere else. I feel like it just needed to be added on. So two scenes I really loved. Okay. One was after they get the uh, the bottle where they say only the true king can look mm-hmm. through. After that cliche kind of throwaway. That was cool. Well, I mean, I thought that putting the thing like I thought that I was, was like, wow, bit... I love puzzles. This is so great. <laughs> well, I was like, why has nobody done this before? Yeah. And why has nobody figured this out? Uh, Jason Momoa, is he a genius? Yeah, like, no, because they were like, we can't let King Orm get any of this. And it's like, y'all really didn't try? Keep in mind. Or are you guys that stupid? Right. When they found that bottle, and I was like, wait, how do they know they were going to use that bottle? <laughs> the moment they got that message, I thought he like threw it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He would have. And then they had it, and I'm like, wait, they needed that? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they see... Where the trident is basically where, right, in the vicinity, where it is. Yeah. And then they have the fight with 
Black Manta and the modified Aqua Frogman team from uh, Atlantis or whatever. Mm -hmm. That scene in Italy was badass. Yeah, that it was a great, cool. fantastic scene. Like the the char the Aqua like the wa the Aqua charging suits running through the yeah. building was badass. What is the princess's name? Mara. Yeah, okay, you're right. I personally really enjoy it when she was in the wine cellar oh, and yeah. she was like, let's get wrecked with wine. I was like, whoa. That was badass. If I had a, well, I mean, she can like control power, uh, control power, hello? She can control water and shit like that. But I was like, wow, that's really fucking smart. She was like, let's go. And all this wine just like fucked up. Yeah, Some that dude. was awesome. Yeah, the, the fight scenes were really, really cool. And it wasn't just... Like, here, I'm gonna kick you really hard and you die, but it was like you would break the mask and their water would like, like I almost forgot they were aquatic until they shattered a mask and their water drained. And I was like, oh fuck, they can't breathe, breathe. air. Like, yeah. awesome. so there was, there was a lot of cool shit. There's, yeah, there's yeah. Like, like, like limbs would get sliced off and you'd see like the water, the like, water seeping out of mm -hmm. the cost. It was like, that was sick. Yeah. It was cool. There was, a, was lot of, a lot of attention to detail in this, which I can appreciate. And then the other thing I liked was, um, so this is like, this is like a huge H.P. Lovecraft book. So oh. early in the movie, when the, uh, when uh, Aquaman's mom comes up ashore and meets her dad, his dad, and they, they're getting to know each other, etc. they pan down to the snow globe. Um, and under the snow globe is a book, The Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. I didn't notice that. Huge plot. I'm a dick. It takes place <laughs> where there's a lighthouse. It takes place there. That's like a that's like a small plug, but it was like very obvious yeah. that mm -hmm. H.P. Lovecraft done a tour. Yeah. Right there, and then later, it seemed like the trench was entirely inspired by yeah. Shadow Over Innsmouth. That's what I thought Lovecraft. you were gonna say. So I was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna I yeah. really like the whole. I like the, the, the creatures. The, the cool. creatures. One beer in, and I'm struggling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the creatures from the trench were like terrifying, but at the same time, I thought it was super smart that they were like they don't like light, and they were yeah. they, yeah. they flick the whole. Because listen, I took an oceanography class, and like the deep sea is fucking terrifying, and yeah. that is why I'm afraid of the ocean. So like <laughs> these motherfuckers, I'm like. Oh damn! But like, it really is as simple as like motherfuckers don't like light. You shine a flashlight on them, and they're like gone. But yeah. they were still like super menacing, even though it didn't take much to like get them off your back. Yeah, I still was like, oh fuck. They were. There was. It was the the strength in numbers that was terrifying. Yeah. Yep. Because like first on the boat you see them, and then they get the flares, and they go under deep, and you have that. Well, that, that was yeah, a good shot. shot. Anxiety shot rose play. during mm -hmm. that shit. But once you got to a certain point where there was too much light, I was like, oh, all right. Like, it wasn't one of those, like, you make it to the very edge and they get away, which I feel like is, I don't like when movies do, like, stupid build-ups where you're just, like, going back and forth between who's chasing who. Yeah. And then at the very last second, it stops. Like, no, they stopped, like, a lot of a while feet bit, yeah. before the edge of the trench because of you can see, like, where light hits. Like, you can right. kind of see the depth of where they are. And I was like, that was really cool because it wasn't just like, hey, light's right here. Like, no, light travels far, but not far enough. Yeah. Because they spent kind of a lot of time, not a lot of time, but and enough time to give me a panic fucking attack in the trench that I was like, get out now! And then they find Jurassic Park. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they do. And we're like, what the fuck? That's the part you know, Where they <laughs> realize that that's the his land mom's of the not dead. Which I honestly can believe completely based on, I mean, the story. I mean. Yeah. And how, like, she's a badass fighting people in the beginning. I was like, yeah, for fucking sure she made it through. If your dumbass yeah. son could make it through there, there's a sure as shit you're going to make it through. But then I was like, but you went through by yourself and with no flares at all? Huh? I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> she was a bad bitch. I believe it. I think she could do it. I mean, it she seemed... probably got hurt. Yeah, she yeah. was there for a long time. Yeah. What do you guys think of the ending, the the, the end fight, like the, the massive little... battle I, of the brine? The battle of the brine. It that seemed really cool. random, in uh... my opinion. Well, not random, right? Because like, all right, I know they're kind of building up to this, and I'm like, well, they're fighting crab people right now. It's unexpected. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's giant crabs and small crabs and this orange fleet and then all of a sudden the creature Aquaman rides on just bursts through the ground. Yeah. It was kinda of cool to see it. I was like, alright. It was quick for what it was supposed to be. Well, yeah, I feel like it was, it was just quick. Very fast. It was just like where the fight ended up. 
It yeah. was like it, we knew that that they were going to the Fisherman Kingdom and mm-hmm. the Brian Kingdom to take things over. It's just where they ended up. Yeah. But I, I it, it did feel like the that's Brian when they were was above like the water, stronger right? group. Uh no, below water still. The Brian were like all the crab people. Yeah. <laughs> what? You remember all the crab people? I don't. The giant monster crab. that came up from the ground. Oh, the little riding. like crab kraken guy that yeah, I. Yeah, kraken. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Wait, not kraken. I don't know well, what it was. The, the thing was the giant. The thing that protected the, the, the trident. trident is uh, was that a what the fuck was she? She was like, spoopy. Like she was like, d- like, you a, ain't shit. A you ain't never gonna get things. this. Oh, okay. And then she was like, you can understand me. She was like, oh shit, no one's talked to you before. Go ahead. Try. I'm like, you're clearly <laughs> speaking English. Like, she, what the hell? But he did his whole like, thing with his brain. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one that can talk to the fishies. And then she was like, you can understand me. I'm like, you are speaking in full sentences. Like, yes, we can understand you. I'm like, I don't. She might as well have been Cthulhu. I feel, that's what I thought <laughs> you were gonna <laughs> say yeah. when you were like, aged me or crap. Like, you it was. And, like clearly, like there's some no. differences, but there are a lot of similarities. I feel like she she should have been scarier than she was because they made it a point to be like she's who protects it, and I feel like he just walked in. And I know it's because he is he's awful. Well, she gave up to too easily. Yeah, she yeah. gave and up too easily to this yep. smooth talking, muscly man. I feel like they should have made her. <laughs> they should have made her like make noises. Like I feel like she should have just been like. Rah. And like that's it because she was like you can understand me like that whole time I was screaming because I'm like you're speaking English in sentences like I don't understand why you needed his brain little like well, waves to be like you can understand me like yes bitch I'm answering you. it's impossible for him to have any kind of a physical impact on a creature that big oh yeah. absolutely absolutely. absolutely that's why I'm like you are terrible I was the most scared of that because like I don't like deep sea I don't like big <laughs> things. <laughs> in the deep sea and the fact yeah. that all you saw was tentacles or whatever the fuck the whole time like i didn't yeah. know where she started or ended so i'm like oh. and then i was like oh you can take it you're clearly worthy <laughs> what the yeah, fuck yeah that was a little bit of a give up like a gimme uh that like again this wasn't a long enough movie they spent too much time being like let's do a cool fight scenes to show jason momoa shirtless all the time but like this trident is the one thing they talked about for a good chunk of the movie. This could have been broken up into a series. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. Perfectly. However, there wouldn't have been enough individually if you split it up to keep interest. I feel. Maybe not. It needed to pack a lot into this one. Yeah, movie. but I feel it didn't focus on enough things. It probably should have. Jason but... Momoa doesn't have enough gas in the tank for a series. <laughs> Really, like, he's just so even pretty. in Game of Thrones, like I don't think he's a solid actor. He doesn't really have to. He act. just looks good. He barely says anything in Game of Thrones. Yeah, good. He's only in the first season. Yeah. Cool. Well, oh, really? Technically, he makes cameos and others. I keep saying I'm in a marathon. I'm gonna have to for just when do it. The, uh, just do it. Just do it. That was my New Year's call. resolution, guys. 2K19 starts in like four days, and I have not watched a single Game of Thrones episode. I you made that my New Year's resolution last, like when this year happened. They're doing a pod. So, hey everybody, <laughs> they're doing a pod on Game of Thrones called Beyond the Wall um, coming out next year, oh, which shit. you'll be able to check out with Jason Moa. Um, <laughs> Jason Moa is not on the pod, unfortunately. Oh, yes. I mean, if we ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sure watch it so I don't nice. have to watch episodes. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. So, Can't wait for Justin to hate it. <laughs> Game of Thrones show? He hates Game of Thrones. He hasn't even seen it. Yeah, you can't really go that way. I Fuck feel like you, I Justin. like it and I haven't seen it. It's just Well, very... that's possible. Yep. There's just to... a lot of effect stuff that I've seen. Like, I follow a lot of the people that work on the show. So there's, like, mm. those stone people that I forget their name, but they have that skin condition that causes... Great scale. Skin. Thank you. Stone that one. Yeah. I am very intrigued by that. You get to see how that gets cured. Really? Yeah, yeah it's gross. I can't kind wait. of a lame way though. I want it because no, so, doesn't someone's daughter cool. have it on that, her face? And that she just scene says, transition they did while curing it, I can't say anything, but it was disgusting. Oh, good. <laughs> You'd like it. I'm so like yeah. I have you a will. lot of photos of those specific characters because I'm over the White Walker guys. Like I'm like whatever. I see you everywhere. Yeah. Like I have a ton of screenshots of those guys on my phone, and I've never seen a fucking episode. But you like should. I want to make that makeup. So so bad. Well, when you guys record, I'm gonna be like watching along with you. Yeah, that makes sense. Like before, because you I want to know what I'm watching right yeah. here. You know, 
Well, idea. watch the first season. Okay. I have. I, I, I've, I've seen the first season. I wanted okay. to just watch okay. from the wedding, but I keep getting told to no, not do that. No, no. You need to learn to love the character. Yeah, you yeah, really yeah. have to get immersed in it. You really gotta... That's how I fell off. Yeah. I, I felt I was going you to the second season. You loved too many? No, no, I was going into the second season and I realized I didn't really know, I didn't really take in enough from the first, like I didn't, I needed to sit down and watch, watch it. Right. Like, unfortunately, like there's a lot of shit I watch. So like. I get it. That's why I never, yeah. I haven't started it. Cause I haven't, I feel like I need to dedicate time. Even you do. though I know half the cast gets you fucking do. wiped out. Yeah. I feel like I need to actually focus on what's going My on. little brother just binged all seven seasons in like six days. Are they hour episodes yeah. or half hour? Hour long episodes. <sighs> some 50, some an hour. I watched like 70. an entire shameless season like in a day. Like I think I can do yeah. this. Last time I did that was American Vandal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, man. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've like, something and not had it on in the background just as like noise so I don't feel so bad. The new season starts in April, <laughs> so you have four months. Yeah. So they're gonna be like I'm, hours, I'm fu- I got this guys. Two K one You'll be able to do that for it. You'll be this. able to do it. You oh, could can definitely do it. You could get away with it with watching two or three episodes a week, probably. Yeah. yeah that seems doable. Yeah. Or just watch it all on Saturday. I'm going to make it my New Year's resolution as well. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like because I made it my resolution, I was like, oh, fuck, time's a flying. Like, Part I. Of my unpaid job. <laughs> <laughs> pay us shit. I'm just kidding. Don't pay us. Well, well do once, pay us, once but... we get subscribers. Yeah. Love yeah. us. That's okay. Please. We love doing this. We wouldn't be doing it if we didn't. Yeah, you guys are all right, I guess. Check out our premium snap. <laughs> Premium, snap premium snap snap. Yeah. Yeah. Evan. Shit. Oh. <laughs> you gotta tell Justin he's gonna start shedding layers. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing faces on his ass cheeks and making his butthole talk. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so I don't know where we are. Aquaman. Um, what do you think in the in, after we talked? And what do you think of uh, her number grade? Rob, starting with you. I still think it's a fun movie. I, it still had problems, obviously. James Wan, I think, really helped in the making of this movie with his direction. And just the, the way he shoots things, his style, I felt, really lent itself to Aquaman. Mm. Probably going to give this probably seven. Solid seven. I liked it enough. It's top three DC movies for me. Probably going to give it 7.9. You know, amazing cinematography, the score, fantastic, you know. Um, the, the, the weirdest thing was like the one scene that I loved the most when they were going to um, Atlantis, like mm-hmm. his like, little yeah. ship ride. I was like, you know, this looks, it felt like a Blade Runner, like something really classic, something that was just mm-hmm. like, yeah. this visually stands out, everything kind of coalesced. You know, I love the characters, even though Jason Rose fell flat, but I love Amber Heard, you know, the choreography and the fight scenes were fantastic. I didn't feel someone was underutilized as a character, or I didn't feel that like someone was like, oh, well, well I mean, in the universe, Superman was underutilized, like, let's be honest. Mm. But, like, it was just a fun movie overall. Yeah, the story was definitely weak in some parts and mm-hmm. definitely needs a little touch up, but the fact that they kept it as like a standalone movie, they were trying to go with what they're going for. It was silly, but they utilized that. It wasn't like, oh, uh, we're not we're gonna ignore this like no like let's run with it let's have some fun even if that came out in a ridiculous cheese covered costume it's, it's <gasps> a good movie yes <laughs> yeah i agree we're in the trailer i i was like i've seen the, i saw the trailer. So you this podcast hating it. i was pissed <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. movie looks like shit yeah. <laughs> this movie was yeah, a chore it. for evan to go see <laughs> that line in the fucking plane Fucking hate. Gotta yeah. love redheads. Gotta love them. Um, I was a redhead at that time, so my boyfriend would always be like, ah, ah. <laughs> like shut the fuck up. And you're like, <laughs> like this is the fifth time I've seen this again. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, um, yeah, no, the trailer was terrible. I mean, the trailer gave you everything that every most of the people who went to see this wanted to see, but like, it was terrible. It, when I went to see this movie, I was amazed that I was entertained for two hours and 20 minutes completely mm. without any issue whatsoever. Um, the acting was very good from everybody except for really Jason Momoa, which I don't think he was bad. I just, I can't really credit him with good acting. I feel like it was just his character. 
like this character was kind of just like, I, I can't do anything. I am a half breed. And then yeah. he did things. Is that always in the comics? He is did it, it all. No, nice. it's not stupid in the comics. He's definitely smart. Talks so to fish. They. <laughs> can't be Did you see stupid. how he pulled those bullies off? You know how hard premium? it is to learn whale? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dory did it. Well, I'm about to say, watch us finding Nemo. I think I could learn. Uh, but cinematography was was actually great for like for a movie with CGI. A lot of CGI. I feel like a lot of CGI movies they try to take the easy way out and they just go with. You know, they, they go with, our CGI is good enough, you know, we don't need an interesting camera work because there's plenty here. But like here, they did a lot of interesting stuff. The fight scenes were very choreographed. They had a lot of interesting shots. Particularly, I loved how they would do like when Jason Momoa was whipping people back and forth, the camera would track with them. Yeah. They did this one scene where like he put this guy and put him against the wall, the camera started like started completely like straight on and ended up canted against yeah, the wall. Yeah, that was cool. If anybody noticed. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because that, awesome. that was the one thing I was like, wow. Well, I'm Because I went in like, eh. Mm. But like the fight scenes and how the camera moved. Because even with like his mom's fight in the very beginning, like there were cool camera movements. I'm like, yeah. oh, I see you. Okay. And, I, and, and the weaponry was badass. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want to know who the prop guy was for this because. The world building was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Like, I want to... This is one of the few films where I'm like, all right, let me see, like, the the behind-the-scenes art. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I did that with Fallout 3 as a game. Um, But Mm -hmm. I don't think I've done that with many other movies. I haven't been, like, I want to see the art. But, like, I want... I do want to see the art. I'm like that with a lot of (laughs) <laughs> well, you're, you're in special effects makeup. The so only thing different. I've never, though, I've never reached a hardcore obsession with anything like I am with Saw. I will watch mm. every behind the scenes, anything that's ever been made for behind the scenes with for all that of film. Them? Yes, I have seen it. All Saws. All Saws. Well, because you like the special effects. Oh like, my like god, they they're like, all practical effects. But well, you know they're shit movies except for the first and second. Oh, absolutely. Movies. But I, that's we, how I, I own with the Lord of the Rings. I own every single because the effects Saw? yes they're just incredibly done practical effect films I can't argue because it's your craft oh god <laughs> argue with me buddy <laughs> <laughs> I mean from a DP or director no yeah right? it's just all very dark green dingy like but like I every every <laughs> single thing every single trap is real like it's a yeah. real thing that people are put in and like that's some shit like I'm not big on like prop making or anything like that right. but like for Aquaman I like I did the class with learning how to make the tattoos and there was um, like whole articles because you know women they focus on their shit but like Amber Heard I guess was like sewn into a lot of her costume like the green one that she wore mm. and she's like I've been looking for you I'm like I bitch like she was sewn into that because it was so tight and like there's just a lot of like I don't know there's a lot of care into it that that went into this like yeah it was very CG heavy but things that were things that they interacted with were done very well. So this is, I definitely think I'm gonna look more into behind the scenes stuff for this as well. Yeah, this is like, I'd love to see. I feel like a lot of the water uh, stuff I'm was real. Of, yeah. yeah. Mm. Not everything was CG, cause I think when those guy, when they were doing that whole, sorry, I didn't mean just like jump on you, but the whole no, like, okay. the transaction thing between Black Mana and King Orm, it wasn't, it was a hologram of him, and then his people came, and they, like, gave him the money for the first thing or whatever yeah. to go track Aquaman. There was, like, spinning water around those dudes, but, like, the water looked a lot realer than the CG stuff did, so I'm, like, wondering what kind of things were built for this to, like, like, what was actually them interacting and what was actually green oh, screen effect. Yeah. Like, I feel like I watched that, and I was like, wow, that looks like an actual platform with water spinning around it. Like, I... I'm super intrigued to see what was legit and what was just edited in later. I did think that one thing, I did think that, like, randomly bringing up that when Black Manta, like, refused the money, like, 
Yeah. Please stop putting this in movies. Yeah. Like, we're going to take the money. Like, <laughs> he's a pirate. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, I just That's want Aquaman. I'm like, your reason for his like, Your whole job money. is money, money. Like, and looting things. Like, I don't understand. Take the money and tell him next time I want Aquaman or something. Like, don't like yeah. tell him I don't want the money. You want the money. I feel I like that's money. what made him more of a brat to me. Because <laughs> like, I'm like, no, yeah, that's your like, whole thing. I totally hijack an experiment with some government sub to open up a nonprofit. Like, <laughs> 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 like uh, they they need to stop like painting characters as if they aren't like. Motivated like, by like, a simple human desire. Right. <laughs> yes. That's that's this entire yes. being of that entire character. Mm-hmm. And yet he ref- he well he tries to refuse the money. They don't give a shit about the money. It's fucking you know what they gonna do with the doubloons. <laughs> this up. whole bag of doubloons. I don't care about coins. Uh, or- he can only spend that money underwater. Yeah. Do you ever think about that? Yeah. 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 Well, they spent one in like Italy. <laughs> you could melt it down. Yeah. Buying like a flower or something? I think so, or something. That is interesting. I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, he did something because he showed up and I was like, fuck. And then that 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 salesman acted like he was real currency. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Like he used aqua currency, <laughs> and the guy's like, I'm used to this. I don't know. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I don't know the rate for this. The exchange rate? Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's all right. It's uh, it's um. Like, Two molecules same? of H2O. It's slightly <laughs> worth more than the euro. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth slightly more than the euro. It's one Jason uh. Momoa to you <laughs> All right, I give up. Um, <laughs> I gave this a 7.5. I've said enough. Uh, okay. Definitely, I would see it. I mean, I would definitely yeah. see it. It was it was an in- enjoyable movie. Um, Sam? Yeah, I think this definitely brings DC back because Suicide Squad was enough for me to just like boycott DC oh. altogether. Like I was low, whatever. Like I said, Iron Man will forever be my number one. But like this was entertaining. It had its funny moments. I do think with a long runtime, it still wasn't long enough yeah. because I would have liked other things being touched upon a little bit more than kind of the scenery. Like the- Jason Momoa. But at, the, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like you kind of needed the amount of time it was taken on the scenery. You needed to see the depths they were in. You needed to see how different, even though it's just the ocean to us people, it's different with wherever they were, which is super interesting. Um, yeah, everyone was beautiful in this cast. I really enjoyed the costuming visually. It was super cool. Even though I feel like I talk badly about CG. I don't like CGI when it's used for things like blood, which Saw does a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, when it's done to create a universe like this and it's done well, like in the Meg when I went in super terrified and then I ended up loving it, um, I still really enjoyed this movie as much as I fucking hate the ocean. Um, so I think, I honestly think I'm gonna give it an eight. I think if wow. you see it, you should see it in 3D to really grasp the depths of everything. Um, even if you hate the ocean like me, it's not that bad. But yeah, I think the acting and the story was very weak in certain areas, but it was already long as it is. Um, but I didn't stay for the after credit scene, so I can't really say if, like if there's a part two, cool. But I feel like they did try to shove a lot in this first half that I don't know what they do besides like a you another, look at the comics, another fight honest. scene with Black Mana. I hope they, if they do make a second one, I hope they go into his story way more. Yeah, that that was the only thing lacking. Yeah, because I just I felt like he was just a brat. Who was like, hey, me kill my dad. I'm like, okay, great. Good. Yeah, you like, you like, killed a shit ton no, of people. You, <laughs> you killed several people's people. dads. We like, literally I saw you stab the ship captain. <laughs> So like, yeah, I feel like if they focused on him and they had some like cool battles or whatever, but I feel, yeah, there's some things that were eh, but it was very, very entertaining. Am I gonna see it again? Probably not at all, but. This may be like the origin story. So this, 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 what sucks with this is like, this might be like the only chance for them to origin story mm-hmm. Black Manta. And they might have missed the boat on I feel like that's why they try yeah. to shove so much into this. They try to be like, let's see who people care about and let's see if we can 
you know, yeah. bring it into another piece. But It'd be I just a little tough to make a sequel and go too far into the Black Mana origin. Without well, I mean, Infinity Black War just did it with exactly. Thanos. Yeah, true. Sure. Infinity War just did it with Thanos. What do you mean? They did his origin story yeah. in Infinity War. Was he in yeah. a previous movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He's in a couple. So you haven't seen the previous ones. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen. We've. You made me see Thor and Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. That's is that all I, you've I seen? Enjoyed. No, I've seen like I've been seen bits and pieces of everything. Okay. So I've seen like Iron Man one. Oh God! Seen, like, you haven't even seen the other two. No. Iron Man 3 kind of sucks. So. Iron Man 2 is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Man 2 will forever be my favorite, but like... I have yeah, money. Maybe if you he's he's, he's big in the Guardians of the Galaxy. I love so. Guardians. Really? I love Guardians. And I'm really I shut off Guardians of the Galaxy when I watched it. Actually. Really? I, I like Guardians 1, but I hated Guardians I think the too. effects are beautiful. I follow the effects team very closely, but like... I don't know. I love I Chris think, Pratt, but I'm just, uh, whatever. I think Guardians 1 and 2 should be combined into one. Well, they only take, like, two weeks apart from each other. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing is, like, Guardians 1 was fantastic, but didn't seem like it ever came to an end. And then Guardians 2 didn't seem like it ever got to the point. So it's like, I feel like if you combine both, it would be a solid movie and edited, like, you know, edited as such. It, not in its, like, you couldn't put one and two back to back and call it a solid film because yeah. it was more edited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. But, uh, right. three is going to be interesting because I don't know what the fuck's going on. They fired no. James Gunn. And he's making Suicide Squad 2. That's going to be dumb lit. Shut up! Yeah, he was doing, well, he got, <laughs> he's confirmed to write it, but now he's also trying to direct it. I'm like, it's probably the best gift DC he's ever gotten. Like, this is fantastic. It's, it's not a gift because they're stealing from Gar- Well, it's a gift from D for DC, but like, I'm I would, not sober I, enough I to just handle want, this world. I would rather to see. Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> He's making bad Superman. Is Drax still gonna be as Batista? Is Batista still gonna? Be oh, bad? I fucking I don't hope know. so. I fucking hope so. Because if they replace him, I'm jumping ship completely. We no, won't find need, out for a while. Need to keep him. He's yeah. so good. They need to keep him. He's just so good. Great. Such an under, like an unexpected. Good high casting, point. yeah. Yeah, like you don't wrestlers are you like The Rock is okay. John Cena is passable. The Rock. Is okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually playing. Uh, he's playing Black Adam. Yeah, that's not gonna movie. happen. Huh. He's sick. Yeah. Hmm. He was cast as that like four years ago. Yeah. Really? I haven't even read it. It's probably not happening. <laughs> oh no. Hey, I mean the Gambit movie is still happening. Yeah. Gambit like X Men. Really? Yeah, Danny Payne's gonna be Gambit. That's been like That's five years be cool. in development. Gambit is my favorite X Men. I fact. do like Gambit. Fun yeah. fact. You, you better hope someone other than Channing Tatum plays him. Oh. I think he did a good job. Can I'm he do a Southern X-Men. Louisiana accent though? I feel like he. Yeah. Done. I feel like he has. I don't want if he plays yeah, yeah. it. I, I feel like I've seen him play it. So I have like a boycott it. I will boycott it. I hate Channing Tatum. I don't. I don't really. I don't find him attractive. I think he's fucking annoying. I think he's funny when he's in like comedic roles. Like I think Twenty One Jump Street is like fucking the stupidest, funniest thing I've ever seen. But I don't like Channing Tatum. But I think he's dance. a solid actor. I do I not. He was good in Logan Lucky. Do not. Yep. Yeah, that's that's do one not of like Channing Tatum. I he, think it's just because as a woman, everyone's like. Channing Tatum is so sexy, and those Magic Mike movies exist, and I'm like, um. Oh well, that's a joke entirely. Shit. Well, he was a stripper. Before yeah, he, he was, was a Chippendale stripper before. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those are like real shit. Why do you expect shit? me to know this? Because like, you love Channing Tatum. Tatum. The fuck? You just said that you love Channing Tatum. Evan's gonna go home. Google Channing Tatum. Like Magic stripper. Mike is like his story and shit. <laughs> but I feel like I don't know when you're in like woman mode and everyone's like, oh my god, he's so hot. I like completely forget to like even look at him as an actor because I'm like, you're fucking irritating. I don't think you've seen him in enough because- if, I haven't. I've I, only ever seen him in like comedic roles. That's the thing. That's, and I'm like, you're so, you're too pretty to be playing someone like this. That's my initial, my, my initial thought on him was always that he's just this pretty boy who can't act. <laughs> And then I I've saw never him in, seen him in anything serious. I saw him in Logan Lucky. He was in Something Hail else. Caesar. He was in Hail Caesar. Didn't see that. Oh, and, he had a um, great like German accent. It's fantastic. I was really? Like, yeah, yeah. What else? Is if there? I watch something seriously with him in it, do but I dare bring up the IMDb? 
Foxcatcher. <laughs> he was in that one too. Where you played like a dumb. And I, I still feel yeah, like yeah, if they Steve brought Carl. him in as Gambit, I would quit. Uh, nope. They need to bring in someone. Uh, no. No. I had an X-Men video game for my Super Nintendo, I believe. And I like old school Gambit with the trench coat and all that shit. That is my shit. But if it's Channing Tatum, I don't know. I feel like it needs to be someone who's kind of like funny looking, but still attractive. <laughs> and I feel like that's just me that thinks that. But if it's Channing Tatum purely to like use the name, which I feel like would happen, I don't, I don't think I'd like it. Yeah, which I don't remember. Yeah, he, he, oh, no, I remember him. He's he played him. Jody. He got his head blown off. I've that. literally seen yeah, him in 21 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street, obviously. I don't think I've seen him. Um, Jupiter Ascending, which constantly we joke about. That doesn't count. Oh, I forgot he was in Logan Lucky, Kingsman sequel, apparently. Mm -hmm. He's advertised to be in that movie so much and he's barely in it. Yep. Foxcatcher, you're right. Um. Don John, I. <laughs> that sorry. That movie's hilarious. Don John, I forgot about that movie. Oh, yeah, this is the end. That's what this is, yeah. Great. All right. So oh, this is the end. He was fantastic. He, that in. scene where he's just like a little where he was an gimp. ass slave. Oh man. Yeah. Fun fact: when they were filming that, Emma Watson walked out that because she was like, "I'm so uncomfortable here," and I'm like, "There's <laughs> no way you sign on with this movie knowing that you weren't going to be uncomfortable." When I saw her in the previews, I was like, "Does she know what she's in for?" She didn't. No. <laughs> she not. didn't know what she was. She is a well-educated woman, <laughs> and she had no idea. So apparently it was just Logan Lucky and uh, Hey Flate, but that convinced me that he's a solid actor. I have to see Watch him in Foxcatcher. Okay. Fox I have that, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. All right. But Hey Flate, like, God, I love that movie. It was, it was such a, it was a movie where I watched it once and I was like, I gotta watch it again. And then I watched it again and I was like, this is a fantastic film. I don't know. I loved it. I mean, I no, love I like Walton those Goggins. ones that you have to yep. watch again to really be like, yeah, all right. You know. You know Walton Goggins? He's fantastic. The guy who's, he, you, you seen Hateful Eight? Mm -hmm. You seen Vice Principals? Comedy show? Mm -hmm. Have you seen Justified? Mm -hmm. Have you seen Predator? They're kicking me off the show, guys. <laughs> 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 no. Yes! yes! Sorry. Predator? Mm -hmm. the, the first one. The first one. Predators movie. with Adrian Brody. There's Predators? Yeah, Predators. So Adrian Brody. Um, <sighs> Adrian Goggins. Brody is another Sam, uh, just like, no, what no. the fuck human. Lawrence Fishburne. You don't like him? Topher Grace. <laughs> <laughs> He's just yeah. too yeah. funny Former looking for me. Killer. Mm -hmm. Adrian Brody. <laughs> He's just interesting. I've seen him in some good stuff. Splice. I've seen him in some bad stuff. I feel like it all depends <laughs> on who <laughs> he's playing. He's definitely one of those that all depends on who he's playing. Pianist was good. Yeah. Very good. Um, I just like yeah, picture his face every time and I just laugh, which is super mean, but it's like... <laughs> well, it's an ongoing joke with us because our friend pronounces it Adrian Brody. Adrian Brody. Brody. Elementary school. <laughs> That's how we read it. <laughs> Adrian Brodery. Adrian Brody. Brody. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. So, let's, all right, let's close up the show. Okay. Um, thank you for tuning in to Brutally Honest Reviews, only on the Brutally Honest Network. Uh, tune in next week where we have another review for you and tune in soon because we will be having our movie podcast out very soon our filmmaking podcast out very soon and soon the winter's coming so we're going to be shooting our beyond the wall game of thrones episode that episode series with rob and gabe and steve and ryan which you've all seen on various podcasts People. Um, we're also shooting our office comedy special in February called Hotline that we have an official, an official name for, which is going to be awesome, and we're looking forward to it. And I hope you are too. So, have a good week. Peace.